protractors and infractors. Uh, allow me to call this fellowship to order so that we can start. Will be an outstanding. Uh, our fellowship will be guided as follows. We shall have the grace by the Hope Crater President, Sorority School of Comprehensive Nursing. Then we will have the Loyal Toast by HCP Simon. We shall have the Forward Test led by Rotarian Aguela Quap. We will have the Goals of Road Tract by Past President Marcy. The Object of Rotary uh, shall be led by Rotarian Owen Apero from the Rotary Club of Namgongo. May I therefore uh, welcome HCP, uh, Sorority School of Comprehensive Nursing, to lead us with the grace. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. The grace for what we have and about to receive may the good road make us truly thankful and mindful of the needs of others. Uh, we shall pay allegiance to the highest leaders, leadership position in this country and that is uh, the, the, the president. So I will ask all of us to hold the most important part of our bodies, and that's where the heart beats from. And then we toast to the good life of the President, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Thank you. Uh, we shall have the forward test by Rotarian Agwemakwa. Is he nearby? Yes, he's nearby. usual? But I have two challenges. Challenge number one, I have not been attending Rotary for a long time. So I do not know whether the object of Rotary has changed. Number two, due to old age, I may falter in my memory. So therefore I request there should be a spare generator to rescue me. And then finally, when I'm saying it, I request that there be dead silence. I should be able to hear a pin drop. Even the traffic in Sorority City should temporarily stop the object of Rotary. The object of Rotary is to encourage and foster the ideal of service as a basis of worthy enterprise. And in particular, to encourage and foster first the development of acquaintance as an opportunity for service. Second, high ethical standards in business and professions. The recognition of the worthiness of all useful occupations and the dignifying of each Rotarian's occupation as an opportunity to serve society. Third, the application of the ideal of service in each Rotarian's personal, business, and community life. And fourth, the advancement of international understanding, goodwill, and peace through a world fellowship of business and professional persons united in the ideal of service. Presidents, I attended the fellowship in the Rotary Club of Muyenga one time. And there, one Rotarian ably articulated the relationship between the object of Rotary, the four way test, the five avenues of service. When I joined Rotary, there were four. Now I'm told there are five, there could even be six. And the way the human heart operates. Me, as a lay person, I heard of the terminology like the left ventricle, the right ventricle. And indeed, presidents, since that day, I became 
an expert in rotary hearts, particularly for ladies. So if you have rotary heart problems, I'm here as the expert. Thank you. For the object of rotary, and also trying to articulate, yes please, the goals. Yes, we can have the goals of Rotract now. And leadership skills. Two, to emphasize respect for the right of others and to promote ethical standards and the dignity of all useful occupations. Three, to provide opportunity for young people to address the needs and concerns of the community and our world. Four, to provide opportunity for working in cooperation with sponsoring Rotary Clubs. And finally, to motivate young people for eventual membership in Rotary. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, maybe just only one. Uh, tomorrow there is going to be a charter for the Rotary Club of Serere. Uh, I'm sure if, in case they are here, we will be joining them tomorrow. Our, our district governor will still be uh, the guest of honor. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now I want to take this opportunity to welcome uh, uh, all of you, our chief guest. Uh, District Governor, uh, I want first of all to, to thank you for honoring our invitation and we surely don't take it for granted. I know Governor uh, travelled uh, all the way from Singapore and he could be fatigued but still he decided to come and preside over this function. We are very much uh, uh, very happy to have you here. Uh, I want to welcome uh, you to the installation of the six uh, uh, magical presidents uh, for the Rotary year 2024-2025. And uh, these are the, the presidents from the Rotary Club of Soroti Central, uh, Katakwi, Komi, Mora, Bukedia, and the Rotaract Club of Soroti School of Comprehensive and Nursing. I uh, want to thank, thank you so much for accepting the invitation. Uh, dear guest, uh, allow me to welcome you uh, first of all to the Rotary Club of Soroti Central, uh, which is the host of uh, this event. And also uh, thank you for the tremendous work uh, you've been doing. Uh, dear guest of honor, our major aim of conducting uh, a joint installation entails a number of big dreams and among them uh, we are thinking of having uh, model clubs uh, which are very impactful in, in our communities in each of the districts in Iteso. We also uh, look at implementing joint global grants together and we are also uh, thinking of increasing in quality of membership in all our clubs. And then we also want to see that we have uh, uh, attained a zero uh, stewardship issues in all our clubs. We also uh, think of uh, building strong club systems and hence reduce on the issues of uh, members failing to meet their obligations, especially uh, payment of dues. And then uh, we are looking at uh, transforming communities uh, within our areas uh, in all the seven uh, areas of focus for Rotary. Yeah. Uh, dear Governor, in the interest of time, uh, we will move to the next item in our agenda for this uh, uh, meeting and I'll ask the HCP uh, Kome who will guide us uh, through the memorial. Thank you.
Thank you so much, dear President, our guests, the District Governor. Through your permission, I'd ask our members here to stand up. And uh, we honor the Rotarians. We take a minute or two to honor the Rotarians and friends that we lost during this Rotary year, particularly Rotarian Dr. Tom Okorot from Arasingora, and then Rotarian Ikulumet Foybe, Victorina, also known as Rotarian Tata. Thank you so much. Um, in the next item, with our uh, MC, please. Uh, we should be recognizing all our guests. Uh, not sure whether we have the person to do it. He's right here. Yes. The protocol. Uh, in case the person who is supposed to guide us, if the protocol is not yet in, we could go straight ahead by having our protocol uh, being uh, given to us uh, at an appropriate time as well. As uh, the host, I will uh, start to have my remarks uh, from the Rotary Club of Sorrent Central, and then the other uh, Hope Crater presidents will uh, follow suit. Yes, then. Uh, our chief guest, the district uh, governor of District 9213, uh, Edward Kakembo Nsubuga. The guest of honor, the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament of the Republic of Uganda in absentia. Uh, I'm sure she's not yet here, uh, but she will be uh, ably represented by one of the uh, ministers who will join us also later. Uh, our district uh, governor elect was not yet joined us as well. Uh, the Dean of the Assistant Governors, uh, CPMD Catherine, who is here with us. Uh, the District Rotary Representatives, the amazing presidents, Hope Creator presidents, and all past presidents. Our fellow Rotarians, Rotractors, and Interactors, guests and uh, friends of Rotary, in all your uh, respective capacities, allow me to thank you very much for accepting our invitations and for choosing to be part of the momentous occasion as we usher in the new Rotary leadership of our clubs. I, I want to thank uh, the Almighty God for enabling uh, me and the board of Soroti Central to serve this year up to uh, this day today. I also want to appreciate the members of the Rotary Club of uh, Soroti Central uh, for giving me the opportunity to serve as president for two terms. Uh, thank you very much. I don't take that for granted. Uh, this is a, a rare opportunity uh, in Rotary, uh, but it happened with me. I know there are very few people who have uh, gone through that. 
Uh, Governor, I must say that this chain is uh, very heavy when you choose to carry it single-handedly. Uh, but when you decide to spread the weight to uh, sharing responsibilities to various uh, teams along the rotary chain, it becomes very light. Uh, our dear chief guest, allow me to uh, welcome you uh, to the Rotary Club of Rotary Central and also uh, thank you so much for the good work you do. Uh, chief guest, our major aim uh, of having this uh, joint fellowships, I think uh, I already mentioned it earlier on in my opening remarks. Uh, therefore, allow me uh, to go ahead and uh, congratulate and welcome the incoming uh, magical president for the Rotary Club of Soroti Central, uh, 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 President-elect Chris Ochaloi. Uh, in his absence here, he is not able to be here uh, today. Uh, he had an abrupt uh, journey and his flight is today, a few hours from now, to, to the US, so he was not able to, to be here with us. But he will be uh, getting back and taking on the mantle of this uh, Rotary Club of Surat Central. Uh, I, I want to thank him for, uh, uh, for accepting to to take on uh, that responsibility of being president of the Rotary Club of Sorority Central. Uh, and I promise to work uh, with him the new Rotary journey while uh, uh, as immediate past president. And I will also be very available to support where necessary. The Rotary Club of Sorority Central is very grateful to all our past presidents, we highly value the foundation uh, they laid for this club and, and, and the work they continue to undertake in various activities involving our club. Uh, also, in a special way, I want to thank our charter president who is uh, among us here for inspiring us in service of ourselves. Uh, could he stand up for recognition? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Governor, our charter president also happens to be my biological father. So he's guiding me. Uh, allow me to present to you the status of our club. The Rotary Club of Surat Central was chartered in on 24th June, uh, that was in 2008, and it is uh, fully registered uh, as a company limited by guarantee. Uh, in the interest of time, Governor, allow me to, to just highlight uh, a few things. I know when we took over, uh, we had focused on many areas, and that was membership, engagement, participation in district programs, youth service engagements uh, given to the Rotary Foundation. Uh, but uh, allow me just talk about uh, on service projects. Uh, dear Chief Guest, and our guest of honor, Allow me to present some of the highlights on the service projects uh, only in the interest of time. Uh, when I was installed as president, in the second week in office, uh, I received an email from the president, uh, Rotary Club of Coding in New York City, and they were willing to partner with us and support a group of youth I responded positively and uh, immediately we received a grant of 3,600 US dollars to support uh, some youth in Gweri and we did that project successfully 
And uh, with the same club now, we are moving ahead into a bigger global grant. We also got support uh, from other partners still in the US where we were able to provide uh, three boreholes in the villages of Airabet, Kachumbala, and Awasi. We have also partnered with the Rotarian Friends from California to support a telemedicine project that is being implemented at Bethesda Hospital. Uh, Governor, we have those members from Bethesda Hospital also here. Please, you can wave to us. Thank you. Uh, some equipment was already delivered, and that is why the hospital is currently able to offer some free consultancy services online, and uh, we used to do it every Thursday. We also intend to expand uh, that project uh, to re and so that we get more gadgets, so that patients may not have to be traveling every now and then to the hospital, and uh, they will be monitored at home by the doctors who may not be within the country as well. We also uh, mobilized teachers from the lower primary level who were trained on early childhood development management and over 60 teachers from uh, Soroti City attended the training and was very successful. We intend to continue with that uh, program as well. We have successfully implemented the malaria project within Soroti City in partnership with the Rotary Club of Moyenga and the Uganda Malaria Partners International and then the Ministry of Health. And our implementing partner was World Vision and Soroti Central was offered the mandate to supervise the project on behalf of all other partners. Uh, we have also implemented two projects at the Terewode Women's Hospital. That is the solar power energy uh, that is providing now light to the hospital. And then uh, uh, we are also working on a motorized power hall, which is yet to be uh, completed. Uh, dear Governor, we have also implemented uh, a project on energy saving stoves, which has benefited some of the schools, uh, those big, big schools uh, like Teso College Alouette, and they are now not using a lot of uh, firewood like they used to be, uh, because we've provided uh, the energy saving. Uh, let, let, let's summarize. Right? Yes, yes, please. Uh, the upcoming events, uh, we are working on uh, two global grant uh, projects. Uh, that is empowering girls through water, menstrual hygiene, management and sanitation. Uh, and this project, uh, we are partnering with the, the Rotary Club of St. Joe's in the US. Uh, it's going to cost 30,300 US dollars. We have already uh, submitted this project, uh, Global Grant Request, to, to the Rotary Foundation. And then we also have the Youth Skilling Project, which is uh, uh, going to cost uh, 159586 US approximately 545 million, with uh, another club uh, uh, in the in New York, the Rotary Club of Coney. And these two projects, uh, we have already submitted them to, to, the, to the Rotary Foundation. And I want to, to express my gratitude uh, that our governor has already authorized these projects. We are very much grateful, governor. Uh, we have also worked on uh, a project of providing an incinerator to Terawali Hospital. We are still looking for an international partner, and I'm sure this is already at the desk of the district governor, who will request that you help us to look for an international partner so that we implement that project 
as well. We are also uh, in the process of chartering another online club, the E Club of Kyoga. Uh, just uh, uh, we're waiting to make sure that we have uh, uh, good numbers in terms of membership, then we will be good to go. Uh, dear guest of honor, what we have so far managed is this, and then uh, in the interest of time, I may not go further, but just allow me to recognize uh, some of the partners whom we have always been working with, that is Terewode Women's Hospital, Taso Surochi, AIC, Teso College and Lloyd, Surochi Regional Referral Hospital, uh, Landmark Hotel, Hyde Park, Ministry of Health, Surochi District Local Government, Surochi City, Doctors Plaza, Bethesda Hospital, and many others. Uh, these partners have always helped us, especially during uh, uh, medical camps. They have always been uh, quite uh, helpful a lot to us. Uh, the other things that are coming up is uh, the Rotary uh, uh, Cancer Run. We will still come up uh, for, to seek for support so that we, we go ahead to implement. Uh, let me thank those uh, board members who have been working with me throughout. Uh, in the interest of time, we will have a, a token of appreciation, maybe certificates handed over at club level. Uh, because we are too many uh, clubs now, we may not be able to handle that uh, right now. Uh, thank you so much, Governor. I would like to uh, give an opportunity to uh, other presidents also to give their remarks. Thank you so much. And we did surpass our tier of uh, uh, funding this year, and we hope to do much better. In this first year alone, we had uh, three. PHFs as a club, and very recently, which I don't want to forget, we sent one member to Singapore, and I want him to stand up for recognition. He has not changed; he's the same member. Um, our club. It's like a football team. I have just been a, a captain. And if you're a spectator, you cannot see the difference between, in the field, the difference between uh, the captain in the field and the players. So we have been playing together, and we are I'm very happy about that. And many times I've mentored the incoming person, sharing meetings, even when I'm there. Um, we, as a club, on, in our first year, organized our own uh, cancer run. And uh, many members partnered with us, and we are happy that even this year, we should be uh, part and parcel of the cancer. We have had up to three health camps uh, for our members in Mora, and we partnered uh, with the, our parent clubs, Sonde and Kampala, and particularly with Sonde, we, we, uh, we uh, constructed uh, and the Allen Childhood Development Center. We are on tree planting, and so far we have uh, partnered with the Roofings, who gave us uh, 3,000 trees, and we have distributed most of them to the communities. We are happy, and I want to thank uh, 
within of ages. I wonder where she is. She has been a very big encourager and supporter of our club. And I want to uh, also thank my AG, who is just next to me. We have knocked uh, heads a number of times, trying to make sure that things don't go wrong. I am very happy about the team, as I said, and our club is one of the club that has varied membership. And I want to take this opportunity to invite very two senior members of our club, Musei Papa, Dan Agorakwap, and Musei Papa Besiru Akabwai are here. And just to show members that uh, these are the people to admire. I've requested, I've been requested to to move you to sit uh, in front here because people are saying, where are they? Please, can you move uh, a little here? And uh, we have uh, Professor Maso. He's our member. Why I'm bringing these two, three, and four? that members at that age many of their age mates are out there and probably almost giving out life and struggling for themselves but now for this this specific ones apart from struggling for themselves they have a heart for others let's clap for them. that is a power powerful team from Ngora and um, their charter president. I want to be very sure that you recognize that. This, this one in front. This one. This one. And uh, whatever is on top of that table, don't hesitate to come. <laughs> so that is, uh, that is uh, uh, our team and we we, we are proud because of you, and we, we hope, our prayer is that uh, when we reach that age, we still have a rotary heart, and specifically for Professor, he's even, uh, I'm joining him very soon, IPP, he's the immediate past president of Kampa, Rotary Club of Kampa. So at that age, members, let us have a heart, let us have our own at heart. Thank you very much, my elders. Um, I also want to thank uh, very sincerely. You know, sometimes when things are very tough, is one and only one who tells me it can it can happen, and that is my wife. Can I just see, can these people see you how powerful you are? Can you join this table? <laughs> On the governor's request. Not mine this time, members. Now, um, I am the president. She's the potential. I'm always telling her that uh, no, 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 uh, you need to join me. So, Governor, this it's should okay. be for you today. So, thank you very much, members. Uh, the Rotary Club of Mora uh, meets in Mora Galaxy Hotel. 5.30 uh, to 6.30, both physically and online. And one of the tricks we have used to mobilize all these people we are talking about is to start from you. 
you grow up in Ngora, eating up mangoes in Ngora, what else can you give back to these communities? And that is how we have gotten the big uh, sons and daughters of Ngora into Rotary. And they are very committed. We have many things pending, uh, and we have prepared a magazine. Uh, 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 governor and a lot of things uh, I hope it will be brought here please buy yourself a copy if it will be if not let us uh, follow us on our Twitter handles social media you will get the details of what we have done in just the first year of being uh, a, a club when we are coming one of the persons in the car said that, but Mr. President, are you ready to hand over? I told that person I'm still thinking. <laughs> but I'm, I'll remain obedient to the rules. So I'm very obedient. I know my PE was getting worried, but I will do, I will do as the Constitution says. <laughs> so thank you very much. I let me stop here and uh, invite uh, you to buy our magazine. Is it? All protocol observed. Uh, dear Governor, I would like to appreciate you and thank you so much for gracing our occasion today. It's quite special to have you in such an occasion and the first of its kind in our region. Dear Governor, I was installed president of this club, Rotary Club of Kumi, and uh, by names I am called Timothy Otimo, first as an amazing president, then two, I became a hope creator president. So, I joined my friend, hope creator, Simon, uh, for another term. It is rare, especially when you start seeing uh, the IPP, like Professor Maswa, seated with you on the other side. We have not yet crossed there. But nevertheless, today is the day we are going to do so. But, dear Governor, with your request, I would like to ask the members of Rotary Club of Kumi to wave to you. Yes, start. He has requested that you start. So, dear Governor, as you look at those men and women there, they are very busy. Hard work and a team to record with. If I was to choose another club, I would choose the Rotary Club of Kumi. Because they are the people, you know, when you're doing a second term, your candle burns off. But they are the people that put fire into me to lead them once more again. And I thank you so much, members. So, dear Governor, we, we as a club have also contributed to TRF. A humble contribution, but at least I believe it has made an impact somewhere. Yes, between primary school. We are in the final conclusions. We expect a groundbreaking uh, ceremony for that project to kick off. Yes, dear Governor, the last and most important is we were six members when you visited me. But I'm proud to tell you that we have doubled the number. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. We doubled the number and also paid our dues to the full as of today. Yes, with those small remarks, I would uh, say that let me stop here. And thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, so done. But, but, but those are very mean. Now, let me leave the address alone. I've seen my friends from Mbale, from Usoga, from Kampala. Can you show them how people appreciate it? Leave the batteries alone. <laughs> Don't mind bad people. Let's, let's, let's do what we are supposed to do. Yeah? You see? You see? You see? So, please, friends, we are being appreciated. Thanks so much for doing so well. Uh, district governor for having served under his stewardship. It is one of those moments that I've enjoyed working under such an able and well-focused person. I think among the ages that came in, I was one of those that came in last and there was a lot of, you know, mentorship that took place and I want to thank you for Dean Katie for having mentored me through and I want to assure you that uh, my worst and the experience was the last one where one of my legs was hanging outside before the close of the rotary year but we had to do miracle and something happened I am here to celebrate our guest of honor I wish to inform you that uh, we've walked a journey with the three clubs that I've been supervising. And among those clubs, we had the Rotary Club of Katakui, the Rotary Club of Mora, and the Rotary Club of Elgon Maisha. But I've had the best moments with all these three Rotary Clubs, and more especially the Rotary Club of Mora that has been challenging me. There are moments we would get off the show show and then we hit ourselves with the president just to make things work and indeed things were working. I've never seen a very able president like my fellow charter president. Stephen. I was indeed very privileged to also work with a president that was not there from the rights uh, from the time of charter. The president of Qatar, we got an opportunity to go and study in the U.S. immediately after charter. And this club has been fully supported by its members, the vice president, the secretary, and other members. You can imagine a club without a president, but the members are working. I want to congratulate the members of the Rotary Club. Those are moments where you realize that leadership is something that you need to attain along your way. The vice president has gained a lot of knowledge in the, in the absence of the president, and I believe she's the right person now to take it on because she has faced all the challenges. I want to wish and congratulate the Russian Club of Elgon Mahisha. I served with them for a very good time, and indeed we had a lot of things that were happening, and behind the curtains I would actually be reported as the, each time you miss out any fellowship, the reports go up and you wonder where did it cross? <laughs> so I said, now, nah, what's wrong with the president? But later on, we sorted out things. And at the time of handover, indeed, we had to celebrate with her. Those are moments where you wish Rotary to move, but things are not working. So you have to go behind the curtains and fight your souls, but in the limelight, you smile 
and that's what Rotary is. I want. And that's what they call leadership indeed. Uh, fellow Rotarians, I wish to inform you that uh, this is an auspicious day for me to also hand over to an able person that is going to help me take over about five clubs. And our DG, I can't miss out moments that you kept on guiding me and even at the time when we went to the mountains and we enjoyed the dance, the Imbaru dance. Those are moments that we recall. But uh, allow me to uh, include me. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the guidance. So for that matter, I would ask that uh, whoever I, I have read their name, please let's get in front so that we do it at once. Thank you. Please, Thank you so much. I'm here. Sorry. Thank you. I'm here to introduce our dear DG, who is our guest, uh, chief guest today. Uh, I introduce a man with a passion for community work, community service. He is so passionate and special about the boy child. There you don't touch. He's so much educated. He holds a bachelor's and master's in social and sector planning and development from MOOC. Worked with the government of Uganda. Uh, he's a Rotarian for 29 years now. He's from the RC Kampala Sese Islands. Our DG is from Kampala Sese Islands. He, in Sese Islands, he worked as president, PAG, a lot of things, strategic planning. Yeah, he's a family man, married to one woman called Nora, and blessed with five children, biological, and has also supported other children, 21 children. Join me to welcome our DG. Please, can we get up? Join me and welcome our DG, Edward Akengo Usoga. Thank you so much, Didi, for coming. Thank you, thank you. Eji please train us. The trainers, please come and introduce the introduce the inductees. The trainers, club trainers. I hope I have some here. Our trainers, I will move forward to have the team introducing our BEs. Here are the addressed as trainers. <laughs> uh, since I'm not seeing any, I'll move ahead to the no. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you so much. And for purposes, uh, with the guidance of the DG, I think the next session is the most important. Uh, we will read the citation of the President Alex but also we shall proceed to install them because that is the main agenda of the day. And then the other items will follow. Okay, yeah. So, um, sorry. I suggest that we induct the new members, then we install the presents when I'm making my remarks so that I can address them as the fully fledged members of Rotary. Thank you so much, DJ, for that guidance. So let's have the inductees uh, introduced. District Governor, I'm Oluka Vincent, chapter member of this club, Sorority Central Rotary Club, and the past president. I'm the trainer of Sonoti Central Rotary Club. In this induction, I have the honor to introduce three people. I trained four, but one is not yet back from Fort Foto. 
I'd like to introduce Dr. James Joshua Oko, a veterinary doctor, hailed from Kumi and a resident of Soroti, from Mwara and a resident of Soroti. He works around representing Sanga, Sanga Vet Chemical Industries as a representative. Next to her is a Professor Florence Dusabe from Soroti University, works on the assurance of the computer engineering. Thirdly, I have Mr. Mr. Ekelot Emmanuel is a procurement and logistics <laughs> expert. So these are the people that I'm introducing for induction this evening. Thank you. Uh, do they work? Uh, do they have families? Yes. Because some of us join lottery for different reasons. Others are looking for spouses like me, so <laughs> give us some information. <laughs> all of them are working and all of them are married. Let me best to come here. Uh, if you join the club of salt, because the banner of salt is here. Uh, friends, this is a very this is a very important moment for us. I'm going, I'm not going to tell you to stand because I know there are people who are short like me, and when you stand, you'll not be able to see. So I'm going to request you to remain seated but observe silently. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my president, President Simon uh, Chisanja, for leading from the front, but also for jumping into the deep waters when the when the ship was was sinking. And uh, now you can see the club is the stable. So I really, really want to appreciate you and please give him a hand club. <laughs> when I uh, visit the club of Soroti, I challenge them that whatever doesn't grow does what? Dies. I'm glad. I'm glad that we are here to celebrate the fruits and uh, that uh, young people are joining our club. And I believe that you're going to bring value to this club, but also this club is going to add value to you. Membership in Rotary is our number one of internal priority. Polio is external, so we pay too much attention on membership and when we have functions like this and we add on our numbers, it's so satisfying and gratifying. I was raised by a single mother who has told me to respect the ladies and I'm going to begin with the, with the lady and I request for the, the, the pin. The pin, the certificate, Madam, come and join me here. Where, where are their families? Lottery pays too much attention to their families. Please, the families come and join the mother, the children, the spouses, the partners. Okay, okay. Yes, uh, Florence to share, I want to say thank you so much for joining Lottery. And the uh, Rotary Club of Rotary Club of Soroti and Rotary in particular, we had an event, I think two events on the university. And this is what we've been telling people to tell our story. Because we went to the university and they saw what Rotary is doing. I'm glad that you are doing you are joining us. I think it's the third one from the university to join us second. Okay, we welcome you. We welcome you to our family. Uh, I'm going to take this. Uh, this honor and pleasure to press this therapy on to you. Uh, this pin communicates, it says you are reliable, dependable, and available to serve humanity. This pin allows you to attend a fellowship all over the world. Uh, you, don't need it, you don't need to get a permission once they see this pin, you'll be able to enjoy fellowship. Please get this pin in slave by attending fellowship, but also for telling people. Local is by invitation, friend. So I'm going to encourage the three of you to request you that also you extend the hand of Olive and invite someone to come and do this club. Uh, either this club or Mora or Katakui or Kumi. The intention is one to serve in Chimante. So welcome about it. And congratulations. Uh, this is a very important set of info with this piece of document, the certificate of membership. Local is by membership. So this is it. 
to share with Florence is a member in good standing. Good standing means that you paid your dues. Uh, friends, all of you, as you are inducting new members, please make sure that they pay their dues because good standing means that. The Club of Sorority Central, Club number 79595-913, signed by President Ojere Simon Judy. Uh, dated 14 June 2024. I'm going to request that you put this office and we put this certificate. I would recommend to put it in a place where which has too much traffic. And I mean human traffic. So when people come into your office and say what is your talent, you'll be able to teach and bring them to join our organization. Congratulations. There's, uh, there's a lot of information about you being that you're a landy friend. And there is our website, www.org. You can navigate there. There's a lot of information. I want you to be an informed hotel. Please enjoy your time. Thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's our, my your honor and pleasure to introduce to you the new story here on Planet X. Is that a poor? Have you seen? <laughs> my old people, have you seen? <laughs> Come back home. <laughs> Okay. The second one, we shall take a group for that one, so you can see the side. Family, a family of Rotary. I'm going to press this pin on to you, which communicates. It says you are reliable, dependable, and available to serve humanity. Whoever sees this pin is going to ask you about Rotary. Make sure that you read something about Rotary. I hear, I'm here, I'm told you, so that you will come in later. Make sure that you read something about Rotary and bring other people. I hope that you you have entered them into the system because we induct so many members and they don't enter the system. So make sure that you they're in the system. Susan, I know you are a very serious and an innocent part person. Make sure that these people are entered on the system. And I'm going to check it Tuesday next week. <laughs> yes, welcome aboard. I want to welcome into our family. A family of people who cares, a, people, a family of people who provide clean water, a family of people who care about taking care of our environment. This thing is coming in cases where reliable, dependable, and about to, uh, to serve humanity. Welcome aboard. Let's take a good photo. Some on the other side. This side. Ladies and gentlemen, join us. Well, join me. Well, join me. Well, come on, you members. Yeah. Yeah. Fair Jolly Good Fellows, they are Jolly Good Fellows, they are Jolly Good Fellows, and no one can deny. Welcome aboard, friends. Uh, thank you so much, uh, dear DG. Before you take your seat, we have an activity. Uh, Dean. Dean. And I would like to invite Rotarian Susan to take us through. Thank you. Protocol observed. Uh, dear DG, we want to thank you for what you have presented before us. In Iteso College, Alloyed, we actually began what they call a skilling program with some few sewing machines from the Rotary Club of Abbott. It's a boys' school, 
but we looked at the community like the wives, the children, the dropouts, the dependents in that community. And the school offered a room, so these ladies have been training there. We have five sewing machines. We have so far trained 20. And uh, we are looking for sewing machines for them. <laughs> the 20 don't have, because we have skilled them, but we don't know what to do next. And uh, during one of the visits of the AG, I mean of the DG, he promised us some three sewing machines. So out of the 20 girls, or the 20 women, we are going to gift the three sewing machines. And before I go ahead, you know there's what they call transition. Um, I've been a patron of the Interact Club of Tesla College Alloyed, but there's another person who, who is supposed to be the patron. And I would uh, therefore call upon Mr. Mena to come and stand here, so that DG, next time when you see him, don't say, I tell is this one. The other members of Tesla College Alloyed are still coming. Now, let me call upon the girls to come. A team Jessica. A team Jessica stopped in P3 and uh, she has done some tailoring and currently she has been trying to do with a set of, there's a, a hub there she's good at, a, at it the next one we have is a dog, a, a dog Jennifer a dog Jennifer is a mother of four Let's, so, let's clap for them. So when you see the DG is not only about the boy child, eh? you can see these are what? Girl children. Then the next one we have is a, a Jemo Eunice. A Jemo Eunice. So these girls you see here are very good at tailoring. But we still have some 17 we have not yet. Kate and four. I don't know what we shall do about them, but they still are not in. We still need 17 sewing machines to handle these girls. Thank you, DG. We can give over. We can hand over the machines. Thank you so much, so much, Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne. Uh, for supporting our children. Have we not record that when you support the boy child, you guarantee the future of the girl child? Yes, much as the focus on the boy child, and I want to be very clear, I want to state this categorically clear. Uh, the focus for this year has been to support the boy child, but we do not want to make, as Lotaria and as people of action, we don't want to make the mistake which was made by government by supporting only one sex for, for the last 38 years. And the results is what you are saying that is the divorce rate is extremely high, uh, the crime rate, the boys lost confidence because nobody was thinking about them. And that's why you see we have so many single mothers, we have so many dropouts. So we want to support both. We support the boys, they focus on the boys, but when you, I'm sure there are still girls who need support like them. So when you identify them, please come and please support them because a very good girl child like her, she needs a good boy child. Am I right? And it is biblical. The Bible says uh, the man or the boy is the head of the family. And if you cut away, if you cut off the head of the man, you destroy the family. So Susan, thank you so much. Uh, we are going to continue supporting the girls. I came with the Dean of Assistant Governors, uh, who is a great supporter of the girl child. I tried so much to convert her. Now she supports both. So Dean, I want to say thank you so much. We hope that get it together. Uh, Susan does 17 issuing machine. Uh, we want to do something like those of those of you know Church of Uganda. We had what they called a send a cow project, whereby we cluster five girls and give them one issuing machine. 
whereby we cluster five boys and give them those ones who have trained, who have been skills in mechanical motor mechanics, and you give them one to look at, and then you encourage them within two years, each one of them to have bought one. That's the way to go. It may be difficult to get the 17, but at least we can start somewhere. So can we cluster three girls or four girls one sewing machine? At least they have something to do. And at the end of the day, they also be able to make some money and support one another, and also support the community. So, Dean, uh, through our team, I'm going to request that we can mobilize some other five sewing machine. Oscar, you are incoming assistant governor. You are you are you are inheriting all the problems you found in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a zone. So I'm also going to request you through our friends. Uh, my brother, uh, you know them, can we find another function must and support these girls, we need to support them because if you support the girl child, you guarantee the future the most we need. So then I'm going to request you, I know you're a proponent of the girl child, I'm going to request you that you go together and then you hand over this machine to these young ladies. The young ladies, I wish you the best of luck, make sure that you make money, but also make sure that you remain focused, don't allow this boys to come and eat your money, yeah, and make sure that you invest, you invest your money, but also, make sure that also you support others who need support like you. Okay. Okay. So, where are the swing machines? Oh, okay. Zone and the Rotary Club of Mbale, we should be pledged to uh, uphold what the DG has shared, and we shall look for those other five uh, sewing machines. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they have others, they will, they will take them afterwards. Yeah, we shall go back to fellowship. Uh, but Oscar, thank you so much. Uh, AJ Dendi, we, I, uh, Oscar Brown himself, I also want to hear from you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, District Governor. Um, we will definitely look for the five remaining machines and maybe more. And I will also request the clubs present here that we can all pass around a basket so that we meet the number of 17 that is required. We've done three, so we're left with 14. But we'll constitute a scene. Okay, so there were 20. Okay, so 20 were required, so we're left with 17. So we're left with seven. Okay. Okay, so we will definitely governor follow this up with a small team and keep you updated on our progress. Thank you. Okay, Alama no no. Hey Alama hey Alama. Hey Alama no no. Hey Alama hey Alama. Hey Alama no no. Hey Alama hey Alama. Hey Alama no no. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you our beneficiaries, yes, you can, if you have someone to help you carry their yeah, other components. So you can take, then you come and, you come and pick one one, so the full set. Ah, where's the MC? But if he's not here. Okay. 
Amanya, Hosbat, uh, then me, Deos, please, let's be coming. Uh, then we have Tracy, please, let's be coming, sure. Please come and take it, just have it again. Our friends, this is our future. Uh, we pay too much attention to our future because uh, uh, if you, I, if I remember my former boss, especially in Steve Akabuaye, was very strong and agile. Now I can see it's becoming weaker. So it's me, by the way. So these are people who are going to replace us when you, when you are not there. So I want to thank you so much, uh, President, uh, Operator President. Wait, my okay, President, thank you so much uh, for growing our numbers. Yes, when I was here, we had a meeting. I'm glad that you, we are bearing fruits. Uh, we don't have things. Uh, but friends, low tractors, these are our partners. These are our partners. Uh, one of them is there. He was a low tractor, and we've got so many who have come to join our family, and they are doing wonders. And I've been on record. The clubs which are here, please, you need low tractors more than low tractor leaders. Because for them, they are trained, they call them professionals. And when they come to join the lottery, it's very difficult.
University with a bachelor's degree in accounting and finance. Uh, Josephine works with a non-government organization in Katakui district and that is Kiita Family Alliance for Development, Kifa, and she's a finance and administration officer. Josephine is a family woman and she's married to a man who is here with us and who is none other than a senior medical officer in the region who happens also to be the district health officer of Kumi district. Is the person who motivated her to join Rotary and she is very grateful to him for that. Uh, Josephine is also a lover of sports and she is a very good supporter of uh, Arsenal Football Club. Uh, with that said, uh, allow me to welcome, introduce to you Josephine Nakankaka for the Rotary Club of Katakui. Thank you. Thank you for the protocol served. I would love to introduce to you the PE of Kenya in Kami. PE James Ojilong holds a bachelor's and social sciences from Makerere University, diploma in education work, a teacher at Namakwa SS, Seroma Christian High School, join NGO International Rescue Committee, link community development plan, plan international, Enabel, currently proprietor of Prime Tower Nursery and Primary School, Pukedia, Married to one wife who is a woman. James is a father of five with one pair of twins. Rotary Jenny. Joined Rotary Club of Pukedia in 2023 2024 Rotary Year. Held chair membership and acting president 2023 2024 PE. 2024-2025. James is a passionate about community work, education, education, wash, and gender-based violence. Join me and welcome him. Good evening, uh, Rotarians, Rotaractors, guests, and the district team. Uh, my name is Mercy. Um, Allow me to introduce the President-elect of the Rotary Club of Serenity Central. Uh, the President-elect of the Rotary Club of Serenity Central uh, is a chapter member of the Rotary Club of Serenity Central. He has worked as a treasurer in the club and also worked twice as the project director of the club. Uh, he is currently the vice president because he's going to be the next president, but right now he's the vice president of the club and the president-elect of the club. He is also a teacher by profession, holding a bachelor's degree in education, but then he decided to leave the education department and cross to leadership and management, whereby he studied his leadership and management at um, Kampala International University. Currently, he is the proprietor of Unity School in Otuboy. Unity is a primary school. And he also works with an American-based organization called Call for Care Best in America. And he is a married man to one wife who is also a woman. And he is also having five children with his wife. Ladies and gentlemen, he is also a plus two PHF in the Rotary Club of Serenity Central. 
Ladies and gentlemen, guests, Rotarians and Rotaractors and pedestrians, and the district team, allow me introduce Rotarian Chris Ochaloi in his absentia. He has his flight to the UK tonight, so he's not able to be here with us. Thank you so much. All protocol observed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josie Mugendi, and I'm here to introduce the president-elect of Rotaract Club of Soroto School of Nancy, Mr. Ksache Jonathan. Uh, Mr. Ksache Jonathan is a student pursuing his diploma in Nancy and he has been through Bishop Brown Primary School, Deva Senior Secondary School, and currently he's at Sorority School of Comprehensive Nursing. He's a good player of chess, he loves to listen to country music, and he loves poetry. Uh, join me in welcoming the new president elect, Mr. Jonathan Ksanchez. Uh, thank you so much. And the introductions have been done so very well. I would ask possibly uh, with the guidance that the present index basically step in front for the induction, sorry, for the installation ceremony. Uh, more guidance comes in. We shall do it the order. Uh, actually, with the order we were introduced, but we are going to do one by one. Let's step up in front. DJ. And in the HCPs as well. Uh, DJ, you can please give us uh, something, something there as we invite our peace, the Labore, but also the current presidents. Uh, members, this is a powerful occasion. This is why we are here. Uh, friends, uh, good evening once again. Uh, this is a glorious moment for us. And some of you who are young, uh, 22 years, 25, I think, 28 years, no, no, the government, this government has been around for 38 years, okay? 38 years and below. You are here to witness this full transfer of power for the first time. <laughs> and uh, this is not only what it does. However good you are, our president, Stephen, has done wonders for the Club of Omora. But all I say is, however good you are, when time come, you have to leave. Uh, president Stephen, I want to say thank you so much for leading us so well. Our friends, not easy as a charter president, you're going to be unknown. Hey, friends, can we have some silence, please? These are very important people are going to, to be installed. So it's not easy, friends, when you go into that, that deep waters, you don't know anything, everything is in you, but Stephen, you've done so well. Thank you so much. 
you are leading in foundation giving in this region, you are leading in membership drive attraction, you are leading in the project set a club of bear in one year. I want to appreciate you so much. I want to use this, I want to use the same opportunity to thank about the club, the club of uh, uh, uh sorry, like the club of uh, Catherine Barasa Barasa come from the club of Sunday. And they say, uh, and I'm, and I'm not that far away from Mother Tree, but also I want to thank the club of Kampala because we are uh, our very old professor, how much comes from, they are joint parents. I want to thank you so much for giving us a powerful crop. And the friends, I want to be on record. Much as we want to grow, let us nurture clubs. You can see more has been around for only one year, but because the nature was strong, the nature was grounded, that's the why we have a club we are standing, we stand and up running. So much as you want to grow numbers, a new club advisor or here, assistant governors, let us support the district to have stronger clubs. I would like to what Stephen. Uh, they were gonna, they were gonna have a saying that however, however good a dancer you are, when time you come, you have to exit the stage. I'm going to request at this juncture in the hand over the subject to someone else. Yes, uh, uh, Charter President Stephen. Martha, come on. First put this one down. Take this from President Stephen. For now. Okay, stand on that. Come on, stand here. Martha, stand here. So, President Stephen, without coercion, and we had a chat, you told me you are not so sure that you are handing over the chain. Uh, but you have, no, you have no choice as a Rotarian, you believe in our whole forward test. Uh, this is the moment now to willingly, without coercion, to hand over that chain to our Dean of Assistant Governors, Catherine Baratha, and then eventually we shall do the honors together to install the newest president of the Club of Mora. Our friends, let us be attentive, let us be attentive, and witness what is coming up now. <laughs> yes, let us appreciate our president because he has willingly handed over that chain of power. Thank you so much, President Stephen. Uh, president, before we install you, to guide this affairs during this, during this coming year, mm -hmm. the magic year, Mm -hmm. Alfaria 2024 2025. This one You've been entrusted with an important office that will be that will shape the future day. of your club. Uh, at this juncture, I'm going to request you to take an oath. At the end of it, you say so, help me go. Incoming President Grace Akalo, I have been uh, elected to the office of President of Rotary Club of Mora by the members. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute I will solemnly execute the office of the President of the Rotary Club of Mora and that I will post, I will post best of my ability, give support and assistance to the district governor and, the Rota, and to the Rotary International and that I will uphold the, the constitution and the bylaws to this club. So help me God. Yes, this is the moment. Uh, the Dean of Assistant Governors, together and myself, we are going to the honors of installing the newest president of the Club of Mora. Our friends, we have a new president in the house. Uh, but it is incomplete. Uh, President Stephen, I don't want to behave like a President Donald Trump when he was handing over power. He handed over a few things and left others. And this is my request to hand over the instrument of power, which is the most important tool in the office of President Grace. Yes, President Grace, this is a very important 
tool in your office, got it jealously because they without and without it you want to be a president. It will help you to prevail over people like, you, told, you know, told people sometimes they are very intimidative, like a president Stephen, make sure that you prevail over fellowship when you may become an elule that you know that you have a president in the house. And at this juncture, I'm going to request you to invite you to take us through your first fellowship. Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's my singular honor and pleasure to introduce to you the newest president of the club of Umora. Uh, Grace, there's a membership study. This is the charter certificate. It's a very important tool. I want to remind that we serve only one year. And next year, same time like this, I don't know where we shall be. Make sure that you hand it over to my next president. Congratulations and wish you the best of luck. Okay, on the slide we shall do it. We shall do a group photo later. Okay, that's okay. MC. <coughs> yes, Magic President Karasi Katakwe. Yes. I want to thank you so much, you know, for jumping into the deep end and staying in the club when we club and lost focus. I want to thank you so much for being available. A friend of the club of Katakui, I have visited 124 clubs this year in the whole of Uganda. But the best club where I had the best meal that was Katakui. I was given brothers bigger than my thumb, I've never seen them, and the black tea and the cassava, that was my best moment. I wish you the best of luck. I thought I would come and visit you. It has, it has been busy because of the business schedule, but I promise to come back as I, because we don't, the governor will not retire, we are like a priest, so I'll come back and support you and visit you. Uh, to my sister, uh, all the way from Uganda, I want to wish you the best of luck. I know you've been around, I know you've been around. We had, we've talked twice on the phone. Our friends, no governor wants to die with a club. Governor Mike handed over to me 119 clubs. I'm going to hand over 130 clubs to the incoming governor. So I have to make sure that all the clubs who are given to me have to guide them seriously. So I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you are taking over the power. And I have no doubt. Okay. Your thoughts? I think it is much like the other side. Hey, please to come in. You want don't run away with our chain, where? Oh, it's here. <laughs> okay. What's on my phone? Thank you. I was so scared I did. I solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of the president of the Rotary Club of Komi, and that I will, to the best of my ability, give support and assistance to the district governor and Rotary International and that I will uphold the constitution and bylaws of this club. So help me God. I hope you don't want to the time, my president. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is your senior and the pleasure to install the newest president of the club of Ukomi, a club which has been transformed this year, 2023 2024, a club that has been able to live the theme of the year of getting hope in the world. Congratulations. Thing, because you eat the same food, you eat Atapa, you eat Agara, so I have no doubt in my way that we shall be able to turn the club around. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's our singular honor and pleasure to install our newest president of the club of Bukedia. And uh, 
are instruments of power, they are over them to the people that hand them over. One, one at a time. Yes, President, this is a uh, very important tool in your office. Guard it just because when you lose it, you seem to be a president. And I expect you next year to do the same, uh, bring it and hand it off. This is the time to invite us to take a view of your first fellowship to know that we have a new president of the club called KBS. Congratulations and welcome aboard my president. Incoming president, Sachi Jonathan. I, Jonathan, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of president of the Altar Club of Swords School of Comprehensive Nursing, and I will do the best and I will do to the best of my ability, give support and assistance to the direct to the district governor and to the Rotary and to the Rotary International, and that I will uphold the constitution and bylaws of this club. So help me God.